<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of the ABS Show. You're watching me in the TV, so of course, please subscribe, share with your friends, your family, don't be selfish, like, let people know about us, because we give you great content every day, and also go on Instagram and follow us on the ABS Show, it's one word, the ABS Show, alright? Okay, Yazzie, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, these two have me just... I wish all of our viewers could be Can here. Can see behind the scenes, and right? See what I'm goes so on with I'm, us. I'm so embarrassed right now because I don't even yeah, engage. Right. I don't engage yeah, these right. gentlemen next to me. Well, Listen, it's I'll official. It's official. It's official. <laughs> Ojera is now comfortable. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> comfortable. Yes. And, and Mina, and Mina TV <laughs> needs to start maybe the African Bachelor, right? Or you something because we have a brand new love connection <laughs> in the house. Going on. It's, it's going on. amazing. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so yes, yes, I love like, your shares. Oh my God. Uh, you're smellish money. Y you know, actually, when I picked it up today, I thought of you. I was like, I'm going to wear really? this for T-Money. Because you know you're the money man. You See, know, this is not better chemistry. Money shirt. No, Charlie, this is not better chemistry. I'm not in this. I just <laughs> want to talk about hot The topics. money man. Okay, yes, so let's topic. dig right, so let's into, right into, it. into it. So, Yazi, go ahead. Listen, <laughs> this topic is so sensitive. You have women in Tamale, 35 to about 50, that are in a forest in Tamale, and they are doing a lot of drugs, a lot of marijuana. They're literally smoking their lives away, Where's claiming Tamale? that they are depressed. Tamale is a northern version of Ghana. Is it northern? Oh. So it's part oh. in Ghana. Oh, yeah, not the northern version. I'm sorry. Northern the version. northern part. I'm sorry. That <laughs> northern was a mistake. part in Ghana. The northern part of Ghana, it is very close to Togo. I believe, right? I the no, north. I don't think it's close to Togo. It is. Tamale? Tamale, because it's in the region, north. We are closer, we are closer to Togo. Hey, no, I hey, know my country. Hey, don't hey, go hey, there. Hey, don't go there my, to my country. Okay. All right, so women in Tamale are yes. were found smoking a lot of weed. 37 to 50. They wow. found about 10 mothers. Um, it wasn't just them, too. There were also kids go kids there, different types of people, doing a lot of different drugs. Um, apparently, mm -hmm. the government has tried to shut it down, but the mayor of the city, I guess, encourages it or didn't want to shut down so like they were fighting back some of the problems there include um child prostitution uh -uh. like a lot of black market stuff going there but um these women were interviewed um about three of them were interviewed and each of them had a different story um what they all seemed to have in common was a lot of um sadness and a lot of um traumatic Depression. experiences in their lives and that's wow. when they turned to the drugs one woman said she had never done it and you know she lost her husband and her kid and a friend gave it to her and it just seemed to take all her problems away wow. another woman mm -hmm. said that mm -hmm. the you know the weed makes her do bad things but she still kept keeps smoking it so it was just very sensitive to me because you know as we know we're in women's month right now so it was just like you know it's really unfortunate that you have so many women all over the world that are fighting for like equality, feminism, and all the great women things. And then you have women that are just wasting their lives away in a forest. And well, I don't think they are wasting their life away in the forest smoking weed. As we all know, <laughs> but. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me finish, please. Because as we all know, as yes. we all know, come on. In the in, Back in the days in the village, women, not women, but we take a lot of herbs and a lot of natural things to cure several things okay. in our in our so lives. No, so but so but this is see, probably one of the things that they want to use. I was I when I when I when I saw this article, at first I was like, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna yeah. be very honest with you. A lot of people smoke weed. Um I Mr. Steele, who is the director for Get Out, Get Out just won Oscar just an Oscar. Admitted, yeah. He just admitted that the he whole time while weed. he was writing the movie he was smoking <laughs> weed. I don't smoke weed. I don't think there's anything wrong with smoking weed, but I know a lot of successful people that smoke weed. And it's it's a personal choice. I mean, there's even medical marijuana. Right now, even in New York, I believe they've made it yeah. legal, legal for yeah. medical reasons. And, you know, I know people have the card that they can go and get it. And I actually did some research on, you know, prescription medication for depression and marijuana for depression. And some people say, in the articles I read online, some people say that marijuana for depression is better than the prescription medication because mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. prescription medication has a lot of yeah, side, side effects, effects yeah. that wow. marijuana doesn't but then on the other hand the marijuana can have a couple of reverse effects on you it's either going to make you think about the problem more and drive you into more depression or it's going to make you forget about the problem mm. so everything has its pros and its cons but why i have an issue with it is that it seems like they're abusing it they're not functioning exactly. drug um, I, okay i shouldn't I say drug 
they're not high, they're not functioning weed smokers. Mm -hmm. If you're a weed smoker and you're getting up, you're going to work, you're taking care of your kids, you're doing what you have to do, mm. cool. Mm. No problem. But if but you're if just in the forest... But if it control your life, then that's yeah, the problem. That's I think that's what it is. Lies. And also the thing about marijuana is that the, um, as much as science has m managed to understand that it can be used medically, we, they haven't managed to understand how it affects different people. Like, mm. you, you know, your mm. body composition mm -hmm. reacts to the marijuana. Everybody reacts differently. differently to marijuana. So while some people can be high-functioning weed smokers, some people run mad. That, those are the people. Those yeah. are the they stories. Yeah, those are the stories that they tell yeah. us back in mm -hmm. Africa. Ah, no. don't smoke Igbo, you run mad. She, you see that madman? He smoked mm -hmm. Igbo once. Madness. <laughs> that's, what, that's how I feel because naturally, because I have a lot of friends that do smoke mm -hmm. weed, and I have not tried it in my life. Never, and never, mm -hmm. like, not no release. Like so like no, no. And <laughs> I, I mean, if because you I know, I, because you probably tried it without knowing. No, because but a lot of people mix it in like the punches at parties and stuff like that. You probably brownies, tried it. Yeah. I know, yeah. I haven't because I know myself. Mm. On a normal day, I'm already crazy. Mm. Yeah. I'm already, you know, it, it can make you calm though. That's the thing. It, it, it does. That's the thing. It, it has opposite effects. Yeah. Most people that I, I know that smoke with that mm -hmm. are hype, it makes them calm. You oh. know? Yeah. And most so what are you calm, telling me? What are you telling me? It has reverse effects on people. Maybe you should try it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but the thing is, weed has reverse effects on people. Yeah, that's what she's it saying. It gives some people inspiration. Repeat me. Mm -hmm. It gives, can I speak? Can I spark? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It gives <laughs> some people <laughs> inspiration. Yeah. It helps some people calm down. It makes some people crazy. It makes some people think they yeah. can conquer the world. It gives that's why I'm rubber smoke weed before they, <laughs> before they go around because they think the bullets will kill them. But a lot of people, but to be specific, but let's go back to your story. For those women, I think it's dangerous to their health because when you take something that you have no understanding of the dosage and the adverse effect, you are endangering yourself. Yes. So let's not support that. That was one of the um, main points in a lot of articles that I read. I read several different articles. And one of the main points was that it's very important that you take it in the right dosage mm -hmm. if you're using marijuana mm -hmm. to um, to balance your depression your problem. Depression. That, that is yeah. very, very, very important. And medically, it can actually relieve people from depression. Because these things are based on counts and statistics. It actually can but if you take the right Dosage. But isn't it surprising that the mayor of the village or the city or the town is not trying to put a stop to this because mm -hmm. apparently there are also kids there mm -hmm. and some of the kids are being forced into prostitution. Mm -hmm. So, you mm. know, I don't understand why, you know, you know, you know what a woman is, what a mother is. I feel like the mayor should, he should be going there, getting them out, getting them to do something, not just Make living there and yeah. just yeah. smoking weed. Like we all go through hardships. Issues, yeah. Everybody has issues. Some of us have dead family members. So, you know, yeah, it's not yeah. really an excuse to just yeah. waste your life away because you say you're depressed. Right. Like, what, are you, what else are you doing I, to I think that, that you leave these old women alone. Yeah, Let them well, go back to farming. No. Oh, Let okay. them alone. Let to them alone. continue smoking? I, listen, it's helping them stay calm. <laughs> so, yeah. so I, for me, leave them, leave them alone. Let them do what they are going to they're but old. Have you, but have you, get, but have you realized that every person that, that gets addicted to smoking weed, they can even use their last... Card. But yeah, and, 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 and the article said that, that they're weed. And the article yeah. said that, that they're thing? living in deplorable conditions. Like for them to use that word, that also means and that's my point. Again, nothing wrong with smoking marijuana. If you want to do it with it, whatever you're using it for, it's up to you. It's a personal choice, you know. But when you start to live in deplorable conditions, you're not working, you're not taking care of your hygiene, where your life is at risk, then I think that we have a problem. It's a yeah. problem. So All I right. do think that if this article is accurate and what they're saying is true you know their children as young as 11 mm -hmm. yeah i read years that. Old that, living that is there. a no-no yeah. in prostitution black market sale of cocaine now we're talking about like a totally different thing and i definitely you know i'm glad that they um the, they're bringing light to this mm -hmm. because this is a it's mm. an epidemic it's a problem it's a problem all right so problem. we're gonna move on to um the next topic this is really you know, so, so let's go. So social media mm -hmm. is still seething over an anti camba song, and they are calling for the arrest of the artist. Mm -hmm. Crazy. In what so country? It's in Kenya. Oh, okay. So the song is basically mocking the Kamba community and has sparked a lot of online protests, and they are calling for the ar arrest for, of the musician that did that song. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to listen to a little bit of the song, and then when we come back, we're going to break this down, okay? okay? So let's listen to the song. This point records. Yeah, Mwaki Junior. Oh, you're a man, 
Charlie, what was that? <laughs> like, I don't know whether to laugh, yes. whether to be, I'm like, what the hell? Like, So the song is actually a reply to the people in Kenya over a business deal that went bad. And um, I didn't know I didn't know what they were talking about because I don't speak their language. So I called one of my Kenya friends. And some of the lyrics in the song, they said that people from Kamba depend on only mangoes. And when the fruit is out of season, they will eat dogs. <laughs> so basically, basically really? they were poking at them. They were poking at the people from Kamba and they are not having it. They are, they are saying that the, the worst, some of the worst in the, so in the songs are um, distasteful. It's, it's going to cause more harm than good. So, so they should pull it down and also have them arrested. What do you think? Do you think it's I freedom of this. speech or... I hate this. This is one of the, my, my biggest problems with Africans. Um, the fact that a world like tribalism exists mm -hmm. is very, very hurtful. Um, in Rwanda, with the Rwandan genocide, when where they were, like different tribes were killing, like yeah. fighting each other, mm -hmm. right? This is almost how it started. It started by radio broadcasts. Mm -hmm. Now we have to understand that we're now in the digital age, and yes. the internet is very, very powerful. We don't need messages like this whatsoever. Mm. Like, it, it should not be allowed to stem. They should be arrested for any type of answer, any type of negative comments, anything that's going to incite tribalism, it's horrible. Hate speech, it's basically hate speech. Yeah. I mean, but, Speaking of but then I again, uh, yes, it is hate speech, but then again, as an artist, you want the freedom to be able to express yourself. But not at the detriment of an entire clan. That's mm. disrespectful. Well, if, if you yeah. say that, then I think that a lot of artists should be arrested yeah. because a lot of artists make a lot of music that's offensive for to gay people. They make music that's mm -hmm. offensive to women. Yes. You're talking mm. about women. You're talking about millions and billions Did of women people. women come out and say stop singing? Some women do you complain. Be, no, you some women be in the club shaking your ass to no, it. No, but so some women, but there are groups and there are organizations that fight these enough things of that them, are that's against what I'm saying. it. Are there enough nationwide so you are saying this maybe me and a few women in here can agree to that but there's going to be somewhere else where a large number of women are going to be i don't mind being called a bitch no. i don't mind being called a hoe especially with people like black china and amber rose they call themselves the slut so if people are making me you know why they do that because yeah, they want to take the power from, from you thank you yeah. but yes. they are accepting the word right they're not saying nobody should use it again so if you, you can't say this is a whole tribe and everybody in that nobody is saying oh it's just music so okay can I, come no. like, yeah, I want to hear your opinion because you want an artist yourself so because uh, i thought i was not on the table anyway <laughs> but for us to start with in this digital age that music video was shot recently Yes. Was it shot with a phone or what? I or don't Blackberry? Know. That's but not what we're deciding. But well, that's <laughs> not the issue. But normally, like you said, we are in an era where we have what we call egality realism. Oh, speak and on it. Egality realism is freedom of expression. Mm. So you can say just about anything. But, however, in law, there's something else we call defamation of character. And it's a libel. So it depends on the person receiving that distasteful sa statement. If the person reacts negatively and take it under the law, then you can fight it. However, if the person ignores it and does not react to it, then so be it. But in this case, the people of Kamba mm -hmm. are not happy about it. No, to them, not. it's a defamation of their character. It's a libel. So they but have the right to contest but, but it. But if you, if, if, let's say it's true that they do eat dogs. What, why are you? Why, why, why you is that the state for? Yeah. There's a lot of countries that eat dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Calabar people, Calabar people, Calabar people, people eat dogs, dogs and we don't have a problem with them. Yeah. Calabar people are some of the most because they have mm. the best this food and everything. For so, me, but just like I said, it depends on how the people. Sorry, it depends on how the people of that place are receiving the message. Exactly. Maybe so it's they, up they to them. It if they don't like the message and they find it offensive, me, they can fight it. I disagree. My opinion, I disagree because for me, it's one of those things. Like if if I stand here and I say, oh. Um, tell your mom, jump off a bridge. Are you going to just go and jump off a bridge before I said it? It's freedom of speech. As an artist, I should be able to say what I want to say, how I want to say it. If you want to take offense to it, it's your problem. Yeah. It's not my problem. It's not It's not our problem. It's music. That's it's why like, people okay, get like shot. That's why people always get say, shot. Let me That's finish my train killed. of thought. Let me finish my train of thought. It's like people always saying that, oh, um, 
celebrities are not role models. You have to be your own role model for the kid. It's literally the same exact thing. He's an artist. If this is what he wants to do, he can make what it's your choice whether you want to listen to it, whether you want to buy it, whether you don't want to buy but it. I you know, sat here listen, listen, and you, you made a statement about you know, other races and other people, it doesn't mean that that statement that you're making is true. Mm. I sit here and I say things. It doesn't mean it's my opinion. It's my opinion of those people. It's your opinion of those people. Yeah, that's it why does it's, not make it true. Back in, the day when the I was younger, back in the day when I was younger, there was mm. a song in Ghana called Tuyabodom. If you're watching it, you know what? that song. It's called Tuyabodom. Sound and like <laughs> Tuyabodom. And if it's Tuyabodom, the capital, Tane, Chene, Chene. It was basically making fun of us, um, a certain area where they were talking about how they are uneducated, you know, they are dumb and, you know, so I understand that. You can't you can incite a, a spe like a group of people like that. That can cause war. If you, if you are president in a country yeah. and a song like this come out and everybody's like Every time they hear a song like yeah, that, they're furious. They are furious. Well, right. so what would you do like, to end so, okay, stuff like that? So what, what would you do? Happen, so what can happen is if the people of that town find the song so offensive, then what they can do is they can ban the song off the radio. You can and you can take methods like that. that. But totally. you can't just get up and arrest them or no, it's freedom Listen, of speech. Let me, let me if not, then the country yeah. should set limit on, limits on what you can sing about and what but you can't sing about. But it's on YouTube. I'm here and I can still listen to it. Wait, let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you why this is wrong. Do you do you understand how how um. World War II started with Hitler. No, tell us. Like, no, it, it was media <laughs> propaganda. Yeah. It started from, if you talk about freedom of speech, they were going to open up a whole different kind of worm. Mm. The, the propaganda against the Jews started from TV. Mm. It started from... It started, it started because from, Hitler was just an... But guess, he was a man matter, that had his own but guess opinions what, about... Thank you, but he had control of the media. And that's how he turned everybody against the Jews to the fact to the point where they were rounding them do up you into think concentration that he camps people, to kill them. He turned people against the Jews? Propaganda or is was very he just so strong. powerful? Or was, he, or was he just so yeah. powerful yeah. that the people were so afraid of him and people did not want to go mm. against him because they were he scared of the consequences? He didn't even show his face until his propaganda had reached a limit where people were now looking oh who is his like, like when people were not interested in him because of that propaganda mm. that and that this was back in 19 what do you understand this is the digital age everything goes like this and people's mind people are even more dumb today than they were back then okay any little thing can trigger them off too that's what to, i'm saying it, it's that's a trigger. Why i don't like this and like yeah. you're saying it, can, it starts a lot of war and yeah. like like charlie's always saying here we're talking about unity if we cannot be unified in our own countries how do we want to be unified as mm -hmm. africans how do we That's want to true. move forward as mm. africans as a black nation as a black race mm. if we're going to be allowing things like this happen okay. fine we have our differences but you shouldn't you shouldn't make a song to, to call that out to make mockery of another Thank place you, to make but mockery but of I another think, people I think for, to when their defense though to their defense though, i think they did this because it was the, one of the safest way they can rep send a, re a reply to the people of Kamba. Oh, we're not going to come in shooting y'all, but we're going to make a song in a fun, creative way. But it backfired on them. This is not the way you when should, you, you should when, go about when it. When you put it in the way that, in, in, you know, promoting unity, then yes, I'll have to agree with you if mm. the song is not causing unity. Then I would mm. definitely have yeah, to agree. Of course agree. it's not causing unity. Not that, cause but, unity. But, uh, but I just feel like we're also on a point of at a point where not everything everyone says needs to be taken literally. Not everything anyone says needs to be you taken. You can't tell people what to be offended word. by. Yeah. You know you what know I mean? That you can't tell people what to be offended but, by. But, but if, in fact, they do eat dogs, why are you offended by it? No, so many no, people, but, they, but that's just one part crocodile. of the song. We don't, know, the we don't song. know every other thing they say. Okay. Okay. Normally, everybody knows that music is a global language. Where words fail, music take over. Mm. So music passes message faster than any other thing. Faster than words. So music is a means of communication. There are so many other messages they could pass. But Come as, on. as, yeah. as yeah. artists, though, but as artists yeah. though, you always want to find the quickest way to go viral, the quickest way yeah. for people to hear your song. Viral at the expense of, of peace, your own life. Of, what if, of what if they get shot violence? now no. on the road no, for that I don't by the people it. of Kamba? They could just shoot them. Yeah, you're right. So it's dangerous. So I think I think arrested, I don't know, maybe going too far. We should put it down. Yeah, You can go on YouTube and report it, pull it down, whatever the case might be. And yeah, no, it's not good. We're gonna move on though to the next topic, um, Odera. <sighs> okay, so this is a very sensitive topic for me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you heard about it. 110 girls were kidnapped from a village called Dapchi, and um, uh, a week ago they went to the national assembly. They marched. This the is in Nigeria. This is in Nigeria. They marched to the national assembly to register their pain because. Um, in 2014, girls were kidnapped from Chibok, mm. and um, the response was very slow. 
and of course getting the girls back has taken such a long time and these parents are afraid that they are going to be counting thousands of days till they see their daughters again mm. so they march to the national assembly where the lawmakers are to you know, ask for them to basically shake body on this situation, find their girls, do something about it. It's like, what is the security situation on ground? Why? They, because the whole issue about the thing was security was actually removed from that village like about a week before these girls were kidnapped. It's another fishy it, thing. It's, yeah, it's sound, it's another, it doesn't sound right. It's yeah. another fishy thing. Um, I personally, I visited Chibok back in 2015. I, I met with um, the families of the missing girls, and even they, you know, told they told us so many different stories about why it was fishy. Mm. That they, that um, for the Chibok one, the girls were not even supposed to be in school. At that, that at, at that time, wow. the president had called for nationwide, like shut, shut, not nationwide. I mean, that area, mm. the region shut down of State school. Of emergency. Yeah, because of the issue with Boko Haram. But for some reason, the principal of that school wanted need asked them to be in school to write their exam. And another thing that people don't realize is that that school was a mixed school. Um, and it wasn't an all girls school. Girls school. And so the only girls, the girls? Taken, only girls were taken. You know, so um, ev everybody here was. Uh, one of the parents said that they were um, that three of his daughters were kidnapped and the entire family is traumatized and they just don't want to see it be a repeat of the Chibok. Mm. Listen, I don't think this is solely. I think it's planned. I don't know. This is just my. Opinion. I think it's planned. I thought I went this to Chibok. Is, yeah, I, because I think it's planned. We are talking as well. about Nigeria here. I'm not gonna, you know. <laughs> Listen, it's planned. No, there's somebody somewhere doing this, doing this pulling with these, these people. Listen, listen, How about you bring back the children, bring back the girls, and take the the the, the this leaders? Nonsense, politician. Listen, right. Charlie, I'm not even going to fight with you on this because as much as I love Nigeria so much, there are too many excuse my language, effed up things going on there. We yeah. do things in a horrible manner. There's so many shady things, and I don't trust anybody involved in politics. Um, the Chippewa girls were kidnapped a year before the election year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, uh, and I really strongly believe to discredit the last president. And now they're doing it again, possibly to discredit this president. But the, bad thing, but the bad thing is that this president has already discredited himself. By Nobody himself. needed to use innocent children to drive a point home. That's my problem. Playing politics with innocent souls is so so wicked. I have no idea what crop of wicked human beings these people come from. Oh these are some of the poorest people in our country. Like, if you, if you know where this state is, it, it's like, Adamawa, there's nothing. This side, you know, there's, there's nothing Zampara. in this region. They're yeah. already, they're already managing themselves. These children, when I went to Chibok, those, those women were wretched. Like, they couldn't move. Some yeah. of them had not left because these girls, they farm for them. They sell things to send themselves to school, they, to keep money at home for their parents. They, they were basically useless. They couldn't do anything because those girls were the only hope they had. They they had been fed the idea that okay, send your girls to school so that they have a future and now they've been kidnapped. Yes. So how do you have a government implementing programs like that and then they are allowing them to be kidnapped, number one, and then not even doing and making any effort to find them. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. your passion as you were talking. No, seriously, and, and I think that's like what... gonna cry and I, no, no, and I think that's why we do have platforms like this to yeah. get the word out. Right. So I do appreciate um, that as well. Um, Yazi, what do you have to say about yeah, this. I mean, it's very. I remember the last one. I heard about this this week too. It's very unfortunate, and I just feel like with all the security in Nigeria, you see Nigerian governors they roll with like there's he police cars. You have red police in Nigeria stopping people for absolutely no Nothing. reason. Nothing. Nothing. You bet for one naira, two naira. Where those policemen should be in these regions, especially after what happened in 2014. What are you doing to protect these people? But then what you're saying, you know, makes sense. And I really love the fact that you've been there, so you have more light on it than most of us here. Makes sense that it's a very, very poor region, which kind of means, like, you know, let's be honest, they don't really care about them. Yeah, it's because if they really cared about them, there would be security. After something like this happened in 2014, there would be security there protecting these people. And I'm just glad that at least the, pe um, the people there are marching, they're bringing light to the attention. And I really, really hope, I read an article that someone spoke to them and they're going to return the girls and they said that they yeah, shouldn't panic. Yeah, there's somebody called Mama, Mama, oh, Mama nice. Boko Haram or mm. whatever that has a, a, an ear for the people. And you, she, apparently she's like a, an intermediary between Boko Haram and the government. Yeah. And I they mean, said that she called they, she called them and she loves, that was what killed me, that she loves the boy, he's not going to hurt them. Like, why take them? Why, why do people, I don't know, understand why Nigerians think that you can play with people's lives like this. Yeah. It's so, so Listen, annoying. Listen, if this thing keeps happening, I'm sorry, as as a wife, I'm not going to take you guys serious. Because it's like every other day there's something going okay, on. Because, no, because for me, 
because for me you are telling me to support you right go find me page and this and every every day there's somebody missing and it's even that it's like mm. it makes people like i'm Ghanaian. i go to ghana a lot i have a lot of nigerian friends they invite me all the time and i don't want to go because you're scared i don't yeah i'm scared fear. for my safety it's like you're always hearing all these stories and it's like how do i know that i'm guaranteed safety when i get there it's it's not a good thing for people that are not Nigerian to, to hear, hear right. about it's Nigeria, you know, exactly. it's very, yeah, very yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, bad I, hate to, I hate to bring this up like this, but it goes to show the level of uh, the, the non-compassion, like no compassion that yeah. these people have for or the ordinary citizens. The president's son for was in life. Uh, for life, thank a you very much. No, the president's son was involved in a ghastly motorcycle accident. Let's not even get into how much the, uh, the motorcycle cost or anything or what he was doing playing with it. He was in a coma for a very long time. They called the, the minister of health, so the top like medical professionals in Nigeria to attend to him before mm -hmm. putting him on a private jet and flying him out of the country. Wow. When he came back, thank God for his life, the federal minister was there to welcome It was a whole group of people. They had a whole event. Yeah. It made, it made news. They made a billboard. Yes. The children of Nigeria are happy to have you back. What about what, these what children? children? Over like, 200 what children? girls are missing. And is it because they're poor? Is it because they have no voice? That's why yeah. these children are not taken as seriously. Exactly I don't why. appreciate this at all. Nigeria is so disappointing and so heartbreaking. It's very, I'm going to be very honest with you, it's very hard to love Nigeria and love being a Nigerian where you get stories like this. Yeah. I, will, I will continue to defend Nigeria as much as possible because I know but that they're they it, it make good, it hard. They're still good people, but things like this just make it yeah. extremely hard. Because you're a woman, you're a woman as well. Imagine you your know, child and missing God. Yeah. I and I, I, I'm saying I'm this passionate because I've slept I've slept in Chibok village I've slept in the huts of these mothers like they were being kind to us you know they this, this particular one village she was, people are the nicest yeah, people they don't want any, any problems. problems thank they're you they're living they in their greedy, village they're, they're not asking good. for more most of them live off probably like three naira a day they, 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 they go they farm for their food they I, come home they laugh by their fireside they don't care much. if they have lights water they are like they don't respect so them because it's happy. classism it's like it's you're classism, living in the village. Thank you. Like what am I? You but know, they're probably the, the that's, happiest that's people. Why. They're probably the happiest people. You don't people want to know Nigeria. the conditions where that they live in. This woman was happy to take me to her house. I promise you, it's not not the best of conditions. But I was happy because of the love the she showed me. And we were sitting mm -hmm. on the on the on the ground under the stars, you know, talking. And the woman just remembered that if her daughter was here, she would have been able to do Aww. more. You know, like yeah. she remember, but she was still able to be nice to us. That's why yeah. all she's going, going through. through. These people go to this like. It's, it's crazy. All right, so let us know in the comments. This topic was very uh, hot. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on these topics. And um, we're going to move on to a much lighter note. Mm -hmm. um, and Timani is going to take over. Timani, what's going on? I'm just sad, Joe. I know. Doing <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Let's go. It's really just sad. Just say a prayer for the girls. Yeah, say right. a prayer, prayer for the girls. Nigeria. Right, say All right, prayer. So, um, Hashtag say prayer for the girls. Who else is a prayer? Mr. Easy? Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> what is going on with Mr. Easy? Oh my God! Well, the Oscars just you know happened a couple of days ago, and mm, there was a trending picture of Mr. Easy on Instagram just one. with the celebrities. No, oh. there were trending pictures of <laughs> Mr. Easy on Instagram with celebrities, and people said, "Mr. Easy, why are you famzing at the Oscars? What are you doing there?" Okay, so for our so, viewers who don't know what famzing is, what is famzing? Well. Famzin is being a groupie <laughs> oh. in an American language, being a groupie. And how you know somebody who, who is Famzin mm -hmm. is when you go to a place where we have people of high esteem and you, you cannot can just, you cannot no, just, no you, you, cannot, you cannot hold yourself. So people are mad about that because he was Famzin and going around taking pictures. Because he's a celebrity in his own right. Apple Beats, Apple Music has sponsored. Apple Beats. <laughs> <laughs> Apple Music has sponsored like so many of his stores. Mm -hmm. Is he not right. the one dating like a billionaire? Is he Billion not the one, uh, he's dating that, uh, a billionaire. Yeah. So he's the yeah. Celebrity in his own right. He needs to have to. How many pictures have you seen of Don Jazzy and uh, Jay Z? You know, Meanwhile, Don Jazzy. Okay, but why didn't Diddy post a picture on his page? That why is it? He's on his page. He Diddy posted po it on his page. Diddy he was too excited. He could not help no, it. Diddy, 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 Diddy. Oh, Diddy. 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 Listen to oh, what I said. Sorry, I thought you said why didn't what he? Didn't Diddy. All these celebrities he took the pictures with, none of them, none of them posted a picture of Mr. Easy oh, on exactly their page. Exactly why it's Famzin, because you you know, that's why it's called Don't Famzin get me now. wrong, I'm a big Mr. Oh. Easy fan. I'm a huge Mr. I actually went to his um his show in Ghana. It was an amazing show, by the way. Malik Berry, he's all these Ghana. other now artists we were to there. Ghana's long time he's, ago. he's an amazing artist. And I just feel like sometimes as Africans, we just 
want to be accepted by the Western world mm. so much. I, I would have been more happy if I would have seen Diddy posting Easy on his page. If I would have mm. seen Black Panther posted, those are the things that would have made me excited. I don't want to mm. see Easy posting Western celebrities. Like, he's a huge celebrity. That's mm. our Mr. Easy. That's our star. That's our baby boy. Okay, you so understand? The issue I have here <laughs> is not because he took pictures with these celebrities. The issue I have here is him posting these pictures. That's what I'm saying. It was yeah. so exciting. Oh, no. and, and, yeah. Like, what and, are you trying to prove? Like, yeah. Look, look at me. Slide, I met slide. this person. Look at, because when you meet your your role model, when you meet somebody that you've cherished and looked up to, I think it's 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 more powerful to keep that to your for heart. Yourself, to like go, to you know, to put it for by your, your friends. To for say, your friends. Oh my God. Or I hang it up your wall. Yeah. I don't know, but for him, and what is he wearing? What is that mustard color? <laughs> it, it was just all wrong, Mr. Easy. Didn't I give you a seat on this set on, on on this show? I gave you a seat last season. I was like, sit down. You're doing too much. Calm down. Personally, when I go out, I don't know have too much pride. Yeah. I, Me too. I don't, I don't go crazy when I see people. I'm like, you see me, you can walk over and say hi. I, I, no, no, you can say hi. You, you can, can shake no, hands. I you can say take hi, photos, but I'm not but going overboard and walking on. They were like, hi. I just came to say hi. No. Calm down, relax. I feel like it's not a big of a deal. I feel like even if for me, even in this day and age, this is like an Insta story post. Yes. I don't think I'm going to post it on my oh, Insta. Yeah. 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 We're going to screenshot it. Why, you that's, why, screenshot that's why it's so obvious that he was Famson. Like, mm. I wonder even if he had a drink at the Oscars. Like, Ooh. I wonder even if he got to, like, enjoy <laughs> any entertainment. It just seemed like, like he was like, oh, did he? Hi. You know, to his credit, though, to his credit, I, I do, I, I, I want to speak on the farms. And them calling it farms, and you guys have to realize that this is a little boy from Africa that's making know. it here. I know, that's a thing, So, too. that excitement, like, I feel we put so much pressure on celebrities. He, to him, you know, he, he doesn't see the level, the way, he doesn't see himself the way we see him. Mm. So, he still sees himself I'm, as... No, I don't get the same thing. Can I tell you about another little boy from, can I tell you about another little boy from Africa making it that even if he takes picture with these people, you won't see it on his face? Yeah, that's what... We, if I you know why the people it's that all about the branding and the packaging sometimes when you get to a certain standard forget about the people looking up to you mm -hmm. it's for your own brand yeah there are certain things you just you have to be strategic the same is the way thing. you do your I'll things do you know? let me tell you something it is a big deal to meet diddy it is a big deal to stand next to diddy a man who it is, is self-made who, who is almost a no, millionaire who, is not who just passed jay-z no as the richest musician no jay-z just passed him but he had like two years in a row or something like that so it is a big deal to meet diddy it is a big deal to meet lupita who came from africa and is making it so good want to ask and everything it is a big deal but i'm just saying that it's like that's all he just kept posting on his on his mm. Instagram, and I, I just didn't feel like it was he's necessary. He's it's not. I got confused. As a point. I told him. he was like, um, you know, this um, host of shows when you go with a mic and you have to go around. So I was like, what is your position in that I can't place? Do it. Are you Listen, an artist do, or you? Like are I was saying, I'll do the same thing, but the thing is, I'll just keep it. Yeah. But, but I just have one question for Mr. Easy though. Did you actually network? Were you getting emails? Did you try to hook? That's why it's called Pams in this picture. Does it resemble somebody that got next? But, he but, probably, but he's he's probably gonna, like, do you he probably gonna make a song with Diddy. You never know. That's true. That's Amen. That's true. I wish you the best. I wish you the best. But so that he can introduce me to Diddy too. <laughs> do you guys, Amen. Do you guys remember when um Nicki Minaj posted whiskey. Yes, yes, we do. Do you know what I mean? And face, yeah, but that's whiskey didn't even no. post it. Yeah, for whiskey. A while. Yeah, Nicki Minaj but that's my point. Like. You Mr. Know? Easy, I just hope you get this. We love you. We're not bashing you here. We think you're amazing. You're a huge star. We love, uh, you're our Africa's rising. Like you already rose already. I mean, the boys on billboards all over the world. Even in you Canada, you just don't need to fans like that. Fans and stuff like I said, it gotta fam, go. but just keep it to yourself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it that's yeah. it. Yeah. But it should fam, build but the connections. It should yes. be fans. <laughs> just fam. Build right? the connections. <laughs> yes. Fams and then drop a music. Drop a song with Diddy. You know. Yeah. Build end the up connection. in a movie with Lupita, but it doesn't need to like. Me this this everywhere. is so like so rudimentary, so elementary. Yeah, like a regular fun. You can put a different spin on it because Diddy actually takes a lot of pictures with different celebrities when he's out. However, what I do like about Diddy is he does it with his Ciroc. So you see Diddy standing next to Rick Ross <laughs> with his Ciroc, but like exactly. Blue Dot Night. You see Diddy with um, Naomi Campbell, mm. with Naomi Campbell showing his kids how to model. So mm. Diddy actually does a lot of Famsin too, but he does it where it, it turns into money. But it's mm. not Famsin. It's, it's, it's not Famsin because he knows these people. He, okay. you, can't, you can't compare Diddy taking pictures with Naomi Campbell that he has known yeah, since, since when she started so that's working. The five and do you six. understand? That's two. different. He doesn't know these people. 
people. He wants to know these people, and he wants to look cool shaking these people. Also, well, Didi is very particular about who he's seen with yes. because, as you know, he's taking pictures with the Kardashians and, and crop he them out. out. That's okay. My name. I so love you, Didi. My guy, my guy knows <laughs> what he's doing. He knows who he wants to be seen with. So that being said, you know that Mr. Easy wants to be seen with Didi, so yes. he can be taken as cool. The only difference is that we know that he's not, unless yeah. like something is going to drop. Oh. But for me, I want Mr. Easy to know that he's the shit. Yeah. Like, come on, you are one of the like, best. Like, carry yourself with more yes. pride. Yes, yes, yeah. 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 you, you are one of the best of the best. If you give your heart to me, that song was what? everywhere. I don't oh, get it. I don't get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah, so, let this stars come up to you. Yeah. Let these celebrities come up to you like, um, excuse me, are you Mr. Easy with the long hair? Yeah. Yeah. Like, how I would love to take a picture with you. Let these celebrities come up to how you. How about maybe he feels like I'm just a young boy from Ghana, Nigeria, and I'm here, I'm at the Oscars, and for yeah. the first time, the Oscars included the most minorities than they've ever had. Yeah. So, so I need to, to show it. You know? That, yeah. yeah, I think you said something about that earlier. Yeah, I think for him stop, to inspire. Stop, yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's a big thing for him to be there, you know? So and let Ghana the Nigeria no. boy finding yeah. his way to the Oscars is huge. Too. So oh Mr. Easy, it could be that we way still love well. you though. Come yeah, on the so show. You need to come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to end here, guys. Um, let us know in the comments your thoughts on these on these um, topics. I As always get sad when we're ending. It's okay. I know. So much fun. I know. We're coming back. This is not the end of the show. That's more, true. That's more true. of these. So subscribe and share and you know follow us on Instagram, the AVS Show. You're watching me on the TV. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.